Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are watching from. I am Stephen Adeyemi. And I am inviting you for us to share the word of God and pray together on a program called The Moments of Grace with myself on Tobago Inspirational Network 137 every Saturday at 6 a.m. And I pray the Lord himself will give you moments of grace in Jesus' name. Amen. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. I will praise thee, O oh my Savior. I will praise thee, O oh my Savior. I will praise thee, O oh my Savior. I will praise thee forevermore. If you will praise him forevermore, you can join me and personalize that song like I did and say, I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you, O oh my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. Hallelujah to the King of glory. Praises to the name of our God. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Glory be unto the name of our God. Honor, adoration, all glory be unto our God in the highest, our everlasting Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the omnipotent, the omnipresent, the omniscient God, the one and only true and the living God. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah to his name. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. From wherever you're watching from. It's another time on the program Moments of Grace. We are here again today through the glory of God and through His grace. We are here again as we always come together to share the word and pray together. And I'm welcoming you specially to this edition. And I pray that God Himself more than I can interpret, more than I can say, God himself will interpret his word unto you. And he will listen to your heart's cry and he will grant you your request in the name of Jesus. Amen. So please accept that warm and lovely welcome from me today on this program as we are here again today and we give God all the glory for the staff and all members of this station Tobago Inspirational Network channel 137 from where we reach out like this on this program Moments of Grace every Saturday at 6 a.m. So I want to quickly share with us today on a message I titled Praise Even Amidst Pain. God's praise, even amidst of pain. Yes, that sounds somehow. Hmm. Somebody might say, how is that possible? How is that possible? How is that done? That we can still praise God, even in the midst of our pain. Either when it, it seems things are going right with us, or it seems things going differently in the other way around can we still praise God? So today's message is titled, Praise 
amidst of pain. I pray every form of pain in your life. I go to the source of that pain in your life. I don't want to know whichever kind of pain it is. Either financial pain, either pain in your body, either pain in any area of your life. Because I come in the name of Jesus Christ, I go to the source of that pain, everything causing pain for your life, everything causing uncomfort, every, everything causing discomfort for your life. I pray, I stand upon the rock of ages, Jesus Christ. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus and I stand firm holding on to the power of God. I command the dryness of all those souls in the name of Jesus. Every fountain bringing pain to your life, every source of pain, everything causing pain for your life, I say in the name of Jesus, I call an end to them now. They shall dry up now. I command them to dry up now in the name of Jesus. No more pain for your life. No more pain for your life. No more pain for your life. Every pain in your body, in your life, in your in every, any area that it may be, anything called pain, anything causing discomfort, I call an end to them today in the name of Jesus. You shall see them no more. You shall feel them no more. I call the peace of God, the peace of God to saturate your life now in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are just following the lead of God. Today's message is particularly, we don't have so much prayer points as we always pray for today. Today is just to expand more on God's praise. But following God's lead, I have to quickly do that prayer because I know it for somebody. I don't know why God directed me to do it and I know he has answered our prayer. Today's text we are reading from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter number 29, the book of Genesis chapter 29. We commence reading from verse number 31, Genesis 29 verse 31 through the end of that chapter. If you don't have your Bible with you, please get it now. We always want to study together on this program so that we shed light on the Word of God and we chew it together and we digest it and it becomes part of us. Amen? Amen. And this is a very good time for you to invite somebody as well or you want to share this link with them or maybe you are watching, you are not watching live, you are watching after the program. You can share the video and let others to be blessed. <coughs> Excuse me. Verse 31, the Bible says, And when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, he opened her womb, but Rachel was barren. It's because of our time we would have read the old chapter. We know, we remember the story of Jacob and his wives. Yes. Jacob hated Leah, but he loved Rachel. Now verse 32, and Leah conceived, that's the one that is eight, that was hated, she conceived, she bare a son, and she called his name Reuben. Let's hear the meaning of Reuben, for she said, surely the Lord hath looked upon my affliction. Now therefore my husband will love me. All what she wanted was to be loved, no other thing because she's in the same house with her sister. And the husband loved her sister, but hated her. All she wanted was to be loved. Now let's continue. Now she have a child for the man that hated her. So she thinks because of that, the man should love her because now she bear him a son. All right? Now, 
verse 33. And she conceived again and bare a son. That's another son. And said, Because the Lord had heard that I was hated, he had therefore given me this son also shall. And she called his name Simeon. She had the first son. She named him Reuben. That because the Lord has seen that she was hated, so now the husband will love her. Second son again, she said, the Lord actually blessed her with a second son so that her husband might love her. All right? Let's continue. Verse number 34. And she conceived again. Somebody say again. Hmm. And she conceived again and bare a son and said, Now this time will my husband be joined unto me. That's, that's a shorty statement. That she's giving herself an assurance that she have that at least if a man is like she's coming up, she came up with a rule there that even if your husband don't love you, if you give him a first son, he should love you. Even though you give him first son, he doesn't love you. If you give him the second son, he will love you. Now, even if he doesn't love you, the first and second son, for sure, for sure, on the third son, it's a must. He will surely love you. That's what, that was what she's saying here. She said, because she has given him a third son, now will my husband be joined unto me. Hmm. Because I have borne him three sons, therefore was his name called Levi. Let's be taking note of those. Now, verse number 35. And she conceived again. <laughs> she conceived again. And bare a son. And she said, Now will I praise the Lord. Can somebody underline that please, please? The fourth time she bare a son and said, For now will I praise the Lord. Please underline that and let's look at the next phrase that says, Therefore she called his name Judah and left bearing. Hallelujah. And left bearing. What does that tell us? All the children that she has been giving birth to in the past, she was using them as a means to an end. Yes, she loved her children, but she only want, she wanted those children all in the name of love from her husband. I didn't give her any wrong, and I'm not, I didn't see her asking for too much. Every woman deserves to be loved. Every woman is supposed to be loved and cared for. Amen, somebody? Hallelujah. But the man that she called her husband, the only person she have after God, who was supposed to take care of her, who was supposed to love her, who was supposed to provide for her, who was supposed to protect her, who was supposed to show her care, affection, love, everything. But it was the other way around. The man hated her because the man wanted her sister and not her. Now, the Lord now saw that she was hated. The Lord opened her womb. Her sister that was loved, the Lord shot her womb. She wasn't bearing, but she was bearing because the Lord saw that she was hated. Now, instead of her to now go through that, that face, praising God and appreciating God, that God gave her something that she, she, she did not ask for, but she have. But she was not focusing on that. What she actually wanted was the love from her husband. That was all she wanted. So she was giving names to those babies according to what she wanted. The first one was Reuben. She said, the Lord has seen that I was hated. So he gave me this. Second one, the Lord saw that my husband ate me. So God want my husband to love me, so he gave me this. 
Third one, ah, for sure, for sure, my husband will now be joined unto me. But on the fourth child, on the fourth child, she came to realization that either my husband loved me or not. I choose to praise God. And from there, she stopped bearing. She stopped giving birth to any, any, any children. She stopped and peace sets in. She realized something that God's praise is paramount. God's praise is vital than anything, than anything. So she named the, the baby Judah, that now will I praise God. What does that teach you as a child of God? Even in the midst of your pain, in the midst of you praying to God about a particular request, about a situation in your life that you are going through, is your focus on what you want God to do for you, or you try to shift your focus and say, whether that thing happens or not, you will praise God. And that's why I started this program today by singing that song that says, I will praise you, O my Savior. I will praise you, O my Savior. I will praise you, O my Savior. I will praise you forevermore. This is telling us that our place is not a case for God's praise. Our case may seem not too good, but it is not a place for God's praise. It means God's praise is what should be happening every day, everywhere, no matter what. Giving God praise is not something that should be determined by our situation. Giving God praise is not something that should be determined about how good life is to us. Giving God praise is not to be determined by how we get through with things we want from God or not. Giving God praise is not to be determined by what we tend to do in life that was possible or what we tend to do that is not possible. Giving God praise is not about how we see ourselves or about how others see us. Giving God praise is not about how much we are able to afford with our daily needs or how much we are not able to afford. Giving God praise is not about how healthy we are or how unhealthy we are. Giving God praise is not about how we have the full knowledge or understanding about who God is or how we don't even have an iota idea of who God, who God is. Giving God praise is something that is important and very, 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 very spectacular about our life that we are living on the surface of earth. God himself said it. He said, all these people that I have created, I created them to show forth my glory in the book of Isaiah. So if God has said it himself, that he created us to show forth his glory, so why should we allow the situations of life, why should we allow the challenges of life to shift our focus from our primary assignment, which is to give God praise? Praising God is not about how happy we are or how unhappy we are. Giving God praise is for us to realize who God is and just praise Him for who He is. It is different from thanksgiving. You thank God and you thank him specially when he does something for you or when he answers your prayer or when things go the way you want them to be, when things go the way you want them to go. That is when you give special thanks to God. But giving God praise is something that you do no matter what because nothing changes the fact that God is God. No matter what comes our way, it doesn't change the fact that God is God. 
We are not saying God is cruel. We are not saying God is wicked. No. But we are saying the fact that no matter the situation that comes our way, God remains God and He deserves His, His praise. That God remains God and He deserves His praise. Can I encourage you today? Can I encourage you today, people of God, that God's praise should be done right from the inner mind every day and let the praise rise on our lips. We just praise Him for who He is, not for what He has done for us or what He has not done for us. Can I encourage you today that you should please praise God every day of your life. When you wake up in the morning, even if it's just the sound of hallelujah, let it proceed out of your mouth. If you can, if you can just say hallelujah, blessed be the name of, of, of you, God, because you are God, then you can now thank him for he, 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 he make it possible for you to be alive. He provided this for you. He protected you. He gave you this. He gave you that. But first, give him praise for who he is, just because he is God. Even when people see that things, that things are not going well around you, when they see you praising God, they will say, no, you are different. It means you know the God that you serve. It means you acknowledge God as the God that he is. That no matter the situation, nothing can shift your focus away from knowing and acknowledging God as the God that he is. So by that, you put the devil to shame and you glorify God, our Father who is in heaven. So, people of God, I am encouraging you today. Let God's praise be on your lips every day, every day every day no matter the situation and when you keep doing that you see how god will keep working on your behalf even behind you when you don't know and you will see how things will keep working out for you because he is a miraculous god you just keep acknowledging him as the god that he is and things will be working for you in the name of jesus can we pray together today can we just give God praise for who he is? Can we put this into practice even from now? Let's just tell him he is God. 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 Can you just tell him in your, in your own form, in your own language, in your own way, just tell him that he is God. Just tell him he is God. You are God. You are God. You are God. Can we sing this song together? You are God, you are God, you are God, oh, you are God, 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 oh, you are God. You are God. This is a song to just acknowledge God as the God that He is. When things going good, good with you is a song you can sing. When things not going good with you is a song you can sing. Even if you have tears rolling out of your eyes, just sing it. Just tell Him He is God. When you acknowledge him as God that he is, you just leave everything to his feet and see how he work things out. Even if it is a face that you are and you are believing God for something, it is a song that you can sing to just acknowledge him, to let him know that you still acknowledge him as God that he is. Can we sing it twice together again, please? You are God. You are God. You are God, oh, you are God, you are God, you are God, 
You are God, you are God, oh, you are God, you are God. For the last time, sing. You are God, you are God, you are God, oh, you are God, you are God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you, O God. We bless you, O God. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the praise. We acknowledge you as the God that you are. We do not allow the situation of life to overwhelm us. We do not allow anything around us to make us not to see your majesty. We bow before you. We bow before you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We acknowledge you as the God that you are. Accept our praises, O oh God. We lift your name on high. We bless you. We say there is no situation that we lift higher than you. You are the highest, and we acknowledge you as the highest. And we bring praises to you because of the God that you are. Glory be unto your name. Accept our praises, O oh God. And keep raining. Rain on, O oh God. For in Jesus' name, we have given praise. Amen. People of God, I want to encourage you today again, please. Do not allow anything to take away God's praise from your lips. Praise Him in the morning, in the noontime, in the night, in the midnight, while driving, while cooking, while bathing, while going through all kinds of situations. Please continue to give God praise. And I pray. God himself will be working out things on your favor in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So I thank you, people of God, for allowing me in your space today again. And I believe God that he has touched you and he has given you a song. And your song of joy will be forever in the name of Jesus. I'll see you again by the special grace of God next week, same station, st same time. Before then, remain peaceful, remain blessed, and I'll see you again by God's grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are watching from. I am Stephen Adeyemi. And I am inviting you for us to share the word of God and pray together on a program called The Moments of Grace with myself on Tobago Inspirational Network 137 every Saturday at 6 a.m. And I pray the Lord himself will give you moments of grace in Jesus' name. Amen.